गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इंग्लिस लिटरेचर वी हैव स्टार्टेड आर जार्नी थ्रू द इवोल्यूशन अब ड्रामा हाउ ड्रामा इमर्जेस एज ए लिटरेरी फॉर्म फ्रॉम द अर्ली टाइम एंड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द जार्नी अब ड्रामा फ्रॉम द रोमन इन्वेशन द रोमन एम्पी थिएटर द जार्नी अब ड्रामा स्टार्टेड विद द कमिंग ऑफ रोमन पावर इन ब्रिटेन Forty three A.D. by Claudius, and in that way, drama as a literary form will go on and on in its way, and that we will talk about. Now, what is our concern in this video? We will just talk about some terms and topics related to drama, and later when going through the evolution of drama. we'll discuss in details of these terms and topics like comedy of humor anti sentimental comedy sentimental comedy these terms and topics we'll discuss when we'll talk about drama through the literary ages and they are in expansion and their most at most stretchability then we'll talk about them but now in this video i just want to share some related point and in brief a, a an idea a mental map regarding the whole journey of drama through some terms and topics okay so uh, let's come to the point first term is drama what is drama in today's uses drama is a serious literary work usually intended for performance before an audience so drama is the primary object of drama the primary motive of drama is to being performed before an audience so audience performance stage theater spectacular all of these thing costumes stage directions all these things are associated with the term drama now origin that term drama has been derived from the greek word drawn 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 means meaning to do so drama has originated from the greek word that is called drawn and what does it mean drawn means to do now source ancient greek and medieval christian religious ceremonies are the source of drama in the first video on drama you find that drama as its form though its seed was sowed by the romans through their amphitheaters in later part drama was associated get associated with the church liturgical source and liturgical domination was a prominent feature of drama drama evolved as mystery miracle morality these types so with drama and its first origin church religion and liturgy was greatly connected and associated and it is not true only in case of britain but it is true for all the countries even the classical origin the greek ro sorry the greek and roman yes and even there you find that drama originated from their spiritual or their religious ceremonies being it comedy or tragedy whatever they just take birth from the religious ceremonies of that period now introduction of prose dialogue drama is greatly related to the word dialogue conversation interaction between two or more characters and that is drama so prose dialogue was introduced in the 16th century by the 18th century prose had become dominant due to the demands of a rising middle class audience for more contemporary subject and themes so introduction of prose dialogue 16th century and from that this interaction this dialogue this um, communication conversation style drama first origin now play versus drama it is we have talk about this already in video number 1 a play is a drama intended for performance all plays are drama but all dramas are not play 
W is against the sea and the mirror for the time being are correct relation reference to dramas not plays okay there is some problem i think okay they are made to be read as poems rather than to be seen at the theater so play refers to written composition mean for the performance on stage it consists of dialogue epilogue monologue prologue whereas drama implies a setting up of the play that includes all the aspect like theater hall costume accessories i have already told you this the drama is associated with the activeness and play suppose you write a play and when that play will place you write a play for dramatization for it is for performance and drama means so it is performed with all its accessories it becomes drama the performance the author of a play is called playwright and the dramatist produces the play sometimes they both are the same person like suppose you write a play for performance it you are a playwright then you just dramatize it even you can dramatize a novel you can dramatize a short story you can you can dramatize it is something that uh, you can from any other genre you just put them transform them into this genre this is called dramatization so dramatization a drama is greatly associated with all its component the theatrical components like accessories music costume hall theater lighting the spect audience and those who will perform the actor actresses so all these are related to drama i feel the concept is a bit clear actually it was not clear for me it was not clear for me then i study and i try to understand and now i am trying to understand make you understand you <laughs> do you understand what i am telling you what is the difference between drama and play a play is written for performance and a drama is that who is just giving it perform is giving the means the equipments the theatrical performance is a studio drama so that is the difference a play is a drama intended for performance all plays are drama but all dramas are not play all dramas mean anything you can dramatize you can dramatize a novel you can dramatize a short story but that is not play play has its own prologue dialogue play has its own style of writing conversational style what about it it has a own style of writing another genre can be dramatized can be formed to drama but it cannot be play play is totally of that format it has special format okay if you even then you cannot understand you must inform me i'll again try to make you understand tragedy tragedy is a form of drama concerned with the fortunes and misfortunes that fall upon human beings shakespeare hamlet macbeth king lear and the best example of tragedy now what is the origin of tragedy tragedy is supposed to have developed from the ritual sacrifice accompanied by a choral song in honor of the goddesses dionysus so i have told you already that even in greek history of drama the origin is from always from religious performance not only in britain it is from greek goddesses dionysus tragedy tragoda that is related to goat sacrifice in the rituals of dionysus performance a goat has to be sacrificed and that goat sacrifice from the word there is tragoda and from there came tragedy so tragedy is related to something sacrifice sacrifice of human emotion human passion human life human virtue all these things that is associated with pain suffering sorrow that is called tragedy farce farce is a type of comedy primarily visual that depends on laughter and occurrent situation and exaggerated physical action in farce everything is exaggerated the comic element is exaggerated and exaggeration of character situation absurd plots and improbable events these are the general features of farce example check off the beer the proposal the wedding oscar wilde's the importance of 
sorry there is a mistake importance of being earnest now comedy what is comedy in broader sense comedy is an amusing and entertaining work and in particular narrower sense comedy may be defined as an amusing and entertaining drama it lacks the seriousness of tragedy and most of the time it deals with human follies and fables so what is the difference between comedy and farce comedy and farce both provides the entertainment laughter the element of fun and merriment but farce is more like gross type for comedy is the refined term of farce it is the easy way of making someone understand origin and making myself understand also origin the term comedy has been derived from the greek word komos meaning merry making comedy komodia it is again it is ritual um, this is related to the ritual fertility ritual merry making ritual and komodia is from komos and dios or doya and komos means comic and it means song so you can go through this and this is the structure of origin the romantic comedy i have told you that we will discuss about this comedy in detail so we'll talk about shakespeare elizabethan period drama and then we'll talk about these things again in details so now just to have a look at this to have a brief idea it will help you romantic comedy the theme of romantic comedy is involved generally love affair the most com- romantic means that is associated to romance love and it is easy to remember Thomas Lowe's Rosalind was the source of Shakespeare's As You Like It and Shakespeare's As You Like It is the most romantic um, comedy you can say. Midsummer Night's Dream, comedy of satire. From the word satire, you can assume what does its theme will be. It means there will be element of satire. Someone will be ridiculed politically or um, phys- uh, philosophically, socially, something or someone will be ridiculed. That will be in comedy of satire. Ben Johnson's people's characters, social attribution, anything can be under this telescope of satire. And the early master of satire comedy was actually drama comedy, all originated from the classical. They are absolutely based and motivated from the classical writers. And comedy of satire is from Aristophanes. Best example of English comedy of satire: Ben Johnson's *Bohemian* and *Alchemist*. Now come to comedy of humor. Again, you can understand it is based on humor. It is a t- again you can say that comedy of satire and comedy of humor are associated in case of Ben Jonson. Okay, this is a type of satire comedy. Okay, I told you just it is a type of satire comedy. It developed in the late 16th century and early 17th century. It is based on the theory of humor. So now what is the theory of humor? Theory of humor is very prevalent and very focused theory during Middle Ages and Renaissance. That human behavior. What are we behaving? Sometimes crying, sometimes laughing, sometimes getting angry, sometimes getting moody, and whatever it is, this human behavior is dominated by a particular passion. And uh, what is this particular passion? Is about this particular passions are dominated by blood, phlegm, choler, and melancholy. These four fluids in our body, these four fluids are flowing: blood, phlegm, choler, and melancholy. And these four fluids actually guide our mental metabolism when we are very happy when we are very sad when we are very moody when we are very angry all these are guided and dominated by this four fluid and imbalance in any of these four elements yields a physical disbalance in a character and this physical disbalance is also provoke the mental disbalance as well as Okay, if uh, suppose you in your body the element of blood become very um, much just get increased anyway, so the pa- person will be sanguine means he will be very happy. So if you are very happy means you have much blood in your vessels. Phlegm, if you are very cowardly, we have been cowardly always feeling. Oh, someone is uh, coming to kill kill me. Hmm. Then you phlegm has increased in your blood, in your body. Sorry, not blood, body. And if you are stubborn, behaving like stubborn, no, I'll do it, do it, do it. Then the element of choler has increased. And if you are always melancholy, always sad, thinking, oh, what is my in my life? Why I'm here? Oh my God! Then the element of melancholy has increased in your. Actually, it is called black bile. It has in melancholy is black bile. It has increased in your blood. So this is a theory, and 
based on this theory this comedy of humor get its root ben johnson second ben johnson i uh, find the volpone an alchemist in comedy of satire again ben johnson is in comedy of humor through his every man in his humor from this title you can find an every man out of his humor and these are the best example of comedy of humor and particularly you can say that ben johnson's every man in his humor and every man is out of his humor are the most uh, pamphletic propagandic plays of comedy of humor now comedy of manners 17th century it is a form of comedy set in a sophisticated flamboyant society where wit and polished behavior are valued over morality so comedy of humor shows the ostentatious flamboyant showy society and her polished behavior people's showiness outward showiness are valued more than inwardness character morality the characters are taken from aristocratic society their elegant their uh, wit their sophisticated witty hmm. they are this type of here trace for on verbal humor rather than physical humor talk verbo se these are most uh, important here restoration comedy provides a full expression of this genre so restoration comedy and comedy of manners you have to keep in mind restoration comedy and comedy of manners are two terms associated with each other so in the restoration period we will discuss in details about these things george ether is the man of mood all those writers of restoration period william congreve george ether is van burg all are related with restoration comedy as well as comedy of manner sentimental comedy due to this excessive uh, you can anti moral manner com- comedy manner if they find sentimental comedy it is one of the literary manifestation of sentimentalism in the literature of sensibility in the first half of the 18th century it follows on from restoration comedy so the immoral attitude behavior soiness of the restoration comedy find its solution oh, you cannot say its solution but find its another way so this sentimental comedy but again they are getting too much sentimental so to stop there's too much flow of sentimentality from the theme of drama from the stage of drama there came again anti sentimental comedy i'm not talking in details about this you can there is the notes are given here um, so i don't like to use the word note every time i am using the word note i am feeling very low feeling very low in the sense that nowadays people are students are going to tuition and that sir give us the most important notes that sir provide all the notes that sir the studies are just uh, based on notes students don't understand to understand anything student don't read any book book what is book why you need book this sir talk about book those sir talk about book we we'll don't go to their, them i'll we'll go to that sir they he just provide all the notes so they are list, learning nothing they are reading nothing they are understanding nothing they are learning nothing they are just like parrot gulping 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 and swallowing swallowing and understanding nothing and that's how in getting marks some questions are the same they are getting marks and understanding nothing and in this process the note just became a cheap word i feel that for me personally i feel the word note has become very cheap for me the note is using just for something cheap that can be buy through money anyway i must not show my personal views here and anti sentimental comedy you must read all this here you will find all the information that i gathered from the sources anti sentimental comedy appeared as a direct opposition to sentimental comedy so you can find the destruction comedy comedy humor it's against destruction too much soiness flamboyantness to um, that comes sentimental comedy as a reaction to restoration comedy or comedy of manners we forget sentimental comedy and again to excessive sentimentality just plunged us under the um, under the pond of sentimentalism and so we get anti sentimental comedy so for people's cho- choice for audiences choice time to time different types of drama emerges just for the support of audience just for the likeness of audience just to satisfy the audience and anti sentimental comedy appeared as a direct opposition to sentimental comedy and what are the features no pathetic scenes 
every passage scenes must be prescribed for the sentimental comedy no sentimental dialogue the heroine is very witty have you read sisters to conquer <coughs> sorry if you read sushi to conquer you will find the heroine is not at all pathetic she is very bold she is very witty full of laughter comic situation deals with upper class society this is the point in this point it matches with the illustration comedy comedy of manners use of wit humor parts irony sarcasm all this use you can find so in this anti sentimental comedy the main objective of this type of comedy was to rectify the manner of a person he used to conquer whose manner was to rectify their marlows to marlows manner to rectify marlows manner the heroine came forward this is very witty and there is some similarities between comedy of manner and anti sentimental comedy i have already to told you in de- it deals with upper class society that upper class society's appearance though they are mocked here in this term anti sentimental comedy and comedy of manners meet in the same point same format same line for the use of upper class society for the demonstration of upper class society not in other point and use of verbosity you can say some extent but anti anti sentimental comedy is more witty i think than restoration comedy and goldsmith good natured man sisters to conquer the best sari dance the school for scandal these are the best example of anti sentimental comedy so with this we just today we stop our discussion here we talk about some the related terms and topics regarding drama and just to keep some point in our mind so when we we'll go through the uh, main road these are the sub road these are the alleys we just put in our head when we we'll go through the main road then it will be more helpful for us to remember as the some short point so we can go more smoothly so bye now and next we will talk about drama and for break i'll insert some other videos in the meantime and our journey will be in that way goodbye